Howdy friends. Welcome to another video by Bicycles Schools Kiliko. Today we're talking to you about fat bikes, how to dress yourself, and some technical tricks to get yourself out and having fun. Come along with me for a ride. Let's get this thing started. Howdy friends. Now that we've got some snow underneath our tires, let's get into it. Today, we're in the fabulous town of Montremblant, Quebec. We've got two different fat bikes with us, but you may ask, Mark, what's a fat bike? Well, key descriptors of a fat bike, tires twice the size of our standard mountain bike, low pressure, all right? That's gonna get us out floating on top of things. You can ride these bikes just about anywhere. Get out there in the snow, you can get out there in town, you can use them in the summer, in the winter, whenever you like, but why not use them in the winter when we have snow to float on? It's the perfect time, you can't ride anything else. All right, friends, let's break it down for you. Two different styles of fat bike mainly out there. We're gonna be looking at something with a 27.5 tire where we can go down from a 3.8 all the way up to a 4.5 inch wide tire. And then we're gonna go back to the 26 inch tires where we'll be sitting down around that four inches and we can get all the way up to a nice five inch wide tire. The 27 inch bike is gonna be a bike with a geometry normally a little more aggressive, a little more fun to handle, a little more lively out there, but we're not gonna get the same flotation with the tires. Um, 26, you're gonna be able to go a little bit more everywhere because of that nice big fat tire you can get on there, keep yourself floating on top of that snow. It's gonna be a little bit more relaxing towards the back of the geometry to keep your weight onto that back tire. Climbing is gonna be a lot easier. As well, we can find these bikes in two different types of components. As you know, aluminum, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, you're gonna get a little bit more lighter, a little stiffer, a little more of a poppy bike that's gonna be a little faster handling. The aluminum, a little bit more relaxed, still a good handling bike. You're gonna save a lot more money on the aluminum bike. For a quality fat bike, we're gonna be looking in and around $1,000 and up to get yourself into something aluminum, no suspension, and then all the way topping out around 5,500 for something like the Pivot Less Fat that we have here. Top end group set, 27.5, 4.5 tires, full carbon, ready to ride. All right, friends. Now let's talk about getting dressed for your fat bike adventure. You want to start off with a multi-layer system. Start off with a nice base layer, right inside, right up against your skin. Good polyester, good wool. It'll keep you nice and warm. Here I have another coat. Uh, it's got a primal loft inside, and it's going to help really push that heat back in, pulling the humidity out. Finally, a waterproof layer on the outside, keeping us dry, the wind off of our backs. Down below, I got myself a nice uh, insulated pant with the chamois integrated inside. Another thing we want to think about are extremities. Always something that gets cold. Here I got my gloves. I happen to like the lobster version. Here, my gloves have two different layers of uh, insulation on the inside. I have a 200 gram, then I also have a 300 gram for the inside with a waterproof shell on the outside that's going to help keep that wind back from us. A lot of people also, with their fat bikes will throw what we call a muff onto the handlebar. It's pretty much just a big envelope for your hand to get right inside. You can go to a much thinner glove, maybe even your regular summertime mountain bike riding gloves. Next, we want to talk about our boots. Here, I have a boot that's compatible with SPD. Uh, has 200 grams of thin slate. Um, what I really like about these ones is that I can throw that SPD on there. So if I'm going to start commuting in town, or let's say one day I want to get my SPDs onto my fat bike, I'm feeling a little bit more um, performing and I want to get that little faster ride out of it, I'll throw my SPDs on there. Lastly, let's talk helmet. Here I'm wearing one that has an integrated lens on it. It comes with three different colors of lenses. I brought just my clear one on me today. Another accessory to think about while you're out there is your neck warmer and your toque to go underneath your helmet. A couple accessories. I got the Blivet body bag here on me. Uh, keeps my phone in the warm. So if I want to listen to music, uh, while I'm cruising, uh, or just for plain safety purposes, it's right there, keeps it right in. It's one of my favorite accessories for fat bike riding. Always think multi-layer, keep yourself comfortable, keep that smile on your face. All right, friends, now for a little trail etiquette. Remember, when you're out there, the day after a snowstorm, go out with your snowshoes instead of your fat bike, get those trails packed down, help the groomers keep them nice. Um, try and keep your tire pressures inside of the respected realms. Three to 10 PSI is where you wanna be. More than that, you're just destroying the trails. Make sure you're not out there on your regular mountain bikes. You wanna be out there on a real fat bike. The too narrow of a tire destroys the trails. Follow a local social media. Uh, find out where your local trails are. Even the local trails websites will have conditions on the trail for you so you can keep up to date, know when it's safe to be out there and you're not gonna run into any groomers. 
Friends, a couple gadgets for you to have out there on the trail. Digital tire pressure gauge so you can see the tenths of PSIs. Uh, we're working with small pressures, important to have so you know where you are so you can really tune in your tires for the, the trail conditions. Another thing, hand pump pushes high volume. Very important, you wanna make sure that you're not pumping all day, you wanna be there. Check for something that'll pump between zero and 40 PSI for you in high volumes. Lastly, if you're not convinced the fat bike is for you, check this out. We've got the Cube New Trail e-bike. Bosch 250 watt motor, it'll keep you spinning all day long and your friends in the dust. Remember, tires to the ground, seat to the sky, get out there, it's time to fly. All right, friends, I hope this video has been helpful for you and in getting into a little bit more into knowing what fat biking is and what it's all about. Uh, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Uh, if you have any further questions, don't hesitate, just give us a call. Leave a question down below and we'll see you on our next video. Peace out.